welcome to Grandin Nursery. As the winter draws in and the daylight hours shorten and everything begins to get colder, we need to think about how to overwinter our plants out in the garden. This short video is all about Agapanthus and two ways that you can help them cope with the winter months. There's two types of Agapanthus. We have deciduous and evergreen. Let's look at the deciduous first. The deciduous type, as the name suggests, the leaves are going to die back and rot off. So what you need to do first of all is get your sharp clean secateurs and give them a good cut. So just take them down and cut them nice and hard. Get rid of that material so it doesn't rot onto the top. And that's all these guys are going to need. They'll basically look after themselves through the winter. So that's the easy one. However, your evergreen agapanthus tend to have thicker, wider, strappy leaves. They don't lose their leaves during the winter. In fact, they keep them and they actually want to keep growing. Ideally, they'd like to be moved into a greenhouse. However, if you don't have the ability or space in the greenhouse to take them inside, this is a really good way of looking after them through the winter months. What we're basically going to do is create a windbreak for them. And that's going to try and keep, or will keep for you, the air temperature around the plant stable to get them through the worst of the weather. So what you'll need is four canes. I've stuck my four canes in around my plant, like so. And you're going to need some plastic to wrap around, that, wrap around them. We're just making a windbreak for them. So the canes are in. You've got some plastic. We're using some clear plastic we use here on the nursery for our underbench heating. However, use whatever you've got to hand at home. I've simply cut some holes in the bottom of this plastic and I'm just slotting them over the top of these canes. Make sure your foliage is nicely on the inside so that it can be protected. And just gently slide it down. We've also got holes in the top for them to slip through. Like I say, use whatever plastics to hand. It doesn't have to be clear plastic. If you've got black or blue or, or plain colour, then that's absolutely fine. It's basically just going to stop the wind getting its colder air down the car. And just pull it down. There we go. Now, our raised bed here is up against one of our greenhouses, so we get some radiant heat from the, from, the, from the glass house heating system. If you've got a pot, if you can try moving it closer to the house or a sheltered area in the garden, that will really benefit from it. If it was a pot, you'd probably put the canes all the way around it and get the plastic going all the way around. But I've just flared mine out slightly so it can gain some of that extra heat from the greenhouse. I like to put little hats or stoppers on the top of my cane so I don't poke my eye out. It just does that. So that's basically what it's going to look like and that's going to stop the colder air getting inside and damaging the crown of this plant. Okay so that's a nice simple thing to do but as the temperatures really begin to drop you can help both types of agapanthus by just giving them a little bit of extra cover, a little bit of extra protection with straw. Straw is a really good mulch to use because it's breathable, so it lets air through. So a nice handful of straw on top of your deciduous agapanthus will help protect it. And you can do exactly the same on top of your evergreen ones when the temperature really begins to drop. And a nice handful of straw and in it goes. And that's just going to create a nice warm blanket in there and really help keep the temperature in. You must remember though with your evergreens that you need to take that straw off at the other end of the winter in the springtime when everything starts to grow again because the plants are going to want to grow with those leaves and they don't want all that straw to gently rot on top of the foliage and help the, the, the leaves to rot as well. Okay so 
If you want to look at any of our other videos on Geranium TV, there's plenty to look at. Or you can get in touch with us on cramdennursery.co.uk if you've got any further questions.